You developing in Virginia Beach, a fatal encounter after a police officer shoots and kills a man. We thought, wow, this is pretty close to home. Neighbors reacting to what's being called a case of domestic violence that quickly turned violent. Police say they had no other option but to shoot the man. They say he refused to drop his gun. All of this played out just before 2 a.m. this morning at the Mayflower Apartments on 34th Street. Now we're learning more about what unfolded at the oceanfront. 13 News Now reporter Ernie LeBeau is live with new details. Ernie. Yeah, David, the man who was shot and killed didn't get very far from where police say that he attacked this woman. The attack, we're told, happened here at the Mayflower Apartments just off of 34th and Pacific. Then they say the man took off around the corner where he was confronted at 35th, and that's where he later died. And now some people who live here are just wondering what happened. Yasmeen Barksdale says she just seen her neighbor hours before she was attacked. He actually used a crowbar to injure her with, in her head. When he was trying to leave, like all the neighbors were trying to help her and trying to um, retain him, but he got away, he ran out. It happened around 1.30 Tuesday morning at the Mayflower Apartments off of 34th Street near the oceanfront. When officers caught up with him, police say he refused to put down a gun and pointed it at them. That's when police say an officer shot the man, killing him. There were two rounds. There were a round of three shots, a pause, and another round of three shots. It was kind of shaking, you know, to uh, me and my girlfriend as well. We thought, wow, this is pretty close to home. I'm from Canada, so this is something I only see typically on the movies. <laughs> Investigators spent most of the morning looking over the scene while Barksdale thought about her neighbor who was taken to the hospital. What led to this apartment attack is still unknown. Meanwhile, some who live here say more needs to be done to keep people safe. That was an isolated incident of domestic violence, which I do understand, but I also feel that they need to take security more seriously. And police tell us that they will release the man who died his name once his family is contacted. But right now they are still investigating this case. Reporting live in Virginia Beach, I'm Erin LeBeau, 13 News Now.